This week's Milton Minute is brought to you by the Milton Times. It was a 14-year record low turnout in this past Tuesday's townwide elections, largely due to uncontested races at the top of the ballot. In contests that were competitive, however, the results started rolling in around 8 p.m. Tuesday evening. In the race to fill an open seat on the planning board, Brian Furs came out on top. We also have a new face on the Board of Assessors, though it may be a familiar one, as Brian Cronin took the most votes in that contest. Winning her two-person race was Laura Richards, who was voted into a seat on the Board of Health, and in a five-person race for three available seats on the Library Board of Trustees, John Folcarelli, Christine Hoedlin, and Frank Schroth garnered the top tallies. In the continuing controversy over possible development at Town Farm, a new question has arisen. Is the property the site of a Native American burial ground? At least one resident thinks that evidence may point to the answer being yes, and selectmen are looking into a possible investigation. And in two separate stories, some old, out-of-date structures may soon be coming down. Three small dams along Milton's Pine Tree Brook have been tagged for removal, as the Neponset River Watershed Association has identified the Milton Waterway as a pilot site for its dam removal project. The initiative is aimed at improving the health of local waters and restoring the natural habitat. And though it sounds like a familiar refrain, owners of the former Hendry's Ice Cream Building may have finally reached an agreement to finally demolish the condemned structure. We certainly hope this latest effort will be able to avoid any snags. Details on these and all the other stories from around town is in this week's issue of the Milton Times, available on newsstands every Thursday, or visit us on the web at miltontimes.com. <laughs>